I'll say, Barista Musa, look, the sun is so hot. Why don't we branch to this good hotel and uh, take one one? All you will tell me in all these occasions is another time. Hello friends, I'm back to this episode and uh, this particular episode I want you to listen very very carefully. Don't forget that I told you that uh, I have tried uh, uh, false prophets, herbalists of all sorts, spiritualists and so on and so forth, but none was able to help me. And I was still working with uh, the first merchant bank in Nigeria. And I was doing well because every year I always receive uh, the managing director award, which is a good uh, love sum of money. But that did not stop my way, my wayward ways of life. I want to tell you that uh, while I was a credit officer in that bank, I met a young lawyer. Barista Musa, let me just uh, give it at that. Barista Musa, a young, brilliant lawyer, while in the same team running after the bank's uh, debtors. And uh, I just noticed that this guy was so cool. When we are working together in the office, his mouth will just be dancing. I don't know what he's saying. Or perhaps he will even say, let us pray. And what is my own with a prayer? And we will continue to walk. Then we'll go out. When we go out to go and run after the bank debtors, and we are coming back. This is where I got uh, my nickname, one one. I'll say, Barista Musa, look, the sun is so hot. Why don't we branch to this good hotel and uh, take one one? All you will tell me in all these occasions is another time, another time, another time. And the another time never came. I never knew until much later. I never knew that this young man, Barista Musa, was praying for me until one day. That was after we must have worked together for more than one year. He came to the office. He said, I have good news for you. And he brought an envelope, not a normal size, with invitation card inside. A gold-plated invitation card with my name and that of my wife, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Apolabi, in very, very beautiful concept. But I didn't see full gospel or whatever. I only saw Amdala Hotel. That was the only thing I saw. And I took it home. Cheerfully, I said, my wife, this lawyer has been running away from me. When we get to this particular occasion, ah, it, it, two, two cartons will not stop me because he must spend good money. He has been dodging me. And so my wife agreed. But something said, before you go, why don't you go uh, 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 individually in your cars? He said, yes, that could be... Uh, a good suggestion. So she came with her car and I went with my own car and we met there. Ladies and gentlemen, when we got there, the hall was beautifully decorated and set up. And uh, I even saw some of the friends that I, I used to know in the society. Everybody looking radiant and handsome and beautiful. And they served us good meal. Very good meal. And then yam your love rice, fried rice, and so on and so forth. All of a sudden, instead of them to give me my own type of a drink, they brought Coca-Cola. And I said, coca what? No, I don't drink this. They said, don't worry. Just be relaxing. And I saw Barista Musa at one end of the hall, 
with other two, three people. Their mouths were talking. I said, ah, these people, I don't know them to be Chinese. They are Nigerians. And uh, we always talk together. I was beckoning to him to come and take money and go and bring one carton of beer. Let's start from there. He was just telling me that I should be cool. After a while, a man came and started telling the story of his life. Invariably, I happened to know this man, a, a reverend gentleman. But when I knew him was in Fela Shrine in Lagos, Fela Nikolapo Shrine, Kalakuta Republic. That was where I knew him as a, something like a bouncer because the man was bulky. Uh, permit me to just call him a reverend, a reverend gentleman. And he started his life. I mean, what, your suggestion is as good as mine that uh, his story is just like my own. But when he got to a particular point, he said he met Jesus. And I was wondering what type of Jesus could have changed this man. Whereas we are together, drinking together, and uh, doing all manner of things. In short, after he had uh, finished his story, of which was touching me and beating me inside, he called us outside. He said, those who want to know the type of Jesus that he has known. Ladies and gentlemen, I was one of the people that ran out because I thought this is the solution I've been looking for. And indeed, it was the solution I, I, I've been looking for. And he prayed a simple prayer. They allowed me to cry very well because I, tears were running down my cheeks. They allowed me before he prayed that prayer. And after he prayed that prayer, oh, I received a very, very peaceful touch. It was as if they poured water on my head and that you know, went down my spines to the sole of my feet. That was how I surrendered my life to our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget, Baba Dada failed. The burying of the stalk, of the, 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 the trunk of a, 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 a banana tree failed. The witch doctor in Lagos failed. Other prophets failed to touch and change the life of a man who was desperately looking for an answer. But hearing a simple story under the auspices of the Holy Spirit, did the man know when he started crying and weeping and tears running down his face? And he said the people allowed him to weep thoroughly. Do you know what that means? He was weeping away the errors of his life. This is true confession. When God touches somebody's life thoroughly, properly, the emotion of the moment will gush out by way of tears. You know What mistakes, what price you have paid, how far you went away. God could have taken you a simple prayer, took you years of one error after another, one costly payment after another. Only Jesus can save you, whoever you are that you are listening to me. If Jesus could save Mr. One One, that's the real name of Matthew. If you didn't catch him, he can, God can, Jesus can save you too. Humble yourself as he humbled himself that day. Weep for your sins. Talk to your father. The same peace that passes all understanding will descend upon your heart. Thank you for giving us your attention again today. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and send these videos to your friends. This is where the real miracle takes place. 
when a man's life is changed and be a part of what God is doing and God will bless you.